Eddie Redmayne has given us another fantastic performance in The Danish Girl. He won the Oscar last year for The Theory of Everything and he is going to give Leonardo DiCaprio a run for his money this time. Aside from the superb acting by Eddie and Alicia Vikander, who I'll get to in a minute, um, this is a superb story, incredibly moving and uh, it's a story that we all need to know. This film is loosely based on a biography by Ina, who was a famous painter. He was married to Greta, and they were both talented artists in their own right. One day, when his wife Greta is finishing a portrait, she asks Ina to try on some pantyhose, um, just so she can complete the portrait without the model there. And from there, Ina realises that he not only likes women's clothing, but he should have been the woman's clothing from the very beginning of his life. Over the next couple of years, as Ina is slowly transitioning into a woman, it takes its toll on his mind, his body, and his beloved wife. Throughout this movie, you find yourself riddled with adrenaline, and it's surprisingly so, because you think it's a period piece, and you just think it's man dressing up as lady. But really, you find yourself kind of grabbing your face and just in sheer terror at moments, so. It's a, it's a surprisingly suspenseful film. Now, let me talk about Alicia Vikander for a moment. She plays Gerda, the uh, beloved wife of Ina, and holy mother of God, we need to give her all the Oscars and then all of the Miss Universe titles because she can not only act, but she is smoking hot. She plays the absurdly loyal wife to Ina, and we say absurdly because there's only so much a woman can go through and the fact that her husband now wants to be a woman and it's in the 1930s, um, you think, well, the lady's got to have balls. Whether this film wins all the Oscars or none of the Oscars, you still have to see this superb performance by an incredible cast and you have to hear this story because it's important and relatable in today's society. Thanks so much for watching guys, don't forget to like our Facebook page and subscribe to EMGN's YouTube channel and to tune in for more people who look like extras of Lord of the Rings.